Hi guys, Hamza here and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a mobile mega menu in Elementor. And the beauty about it, you won't have to buy any plugin. And this is how the menu is going to look like. So uh, we have our different menu items. When I click on the about, I get this. And I can just come back here and close over the about, then come over to services, and this is what I have. It's a mega menu under the services menu item. So let's dive straight in and see how we do that. Before I actually start, uh, this video I'm making was inspired by questions I got on the recent video that I had released on how to create mega menus in Elementor and I got questions like I just tried it and it doesn't work on mobile. Is there something to set up extra to work on mobile? Another question I got also was Awesome, how does this behave on mobile screens? And again another question I got was also have you tested it on mobile and tablets? So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can create this mega menu using Elementor and it will be and you will be able to use it on mobile devices. So in order to create that mobile menu, uh, you need uh, three things. And the very first thing is you need a theme that is ready for Elementor. You need Elementor Pro and then you need a free plugin called Clever Mega Menu for Elementor. Once you have those installed, next thing is to create a header because uh, that's where your menu will be. And to create a header, you come over to templates and then you go to theme builder and then you hit create a new header. And um, once you select new header new header template and you create the header however i'm not going to go now into this tutorial because i already made it and i'm just going to leave a link up here so that you can go see how you create headers so let me just open my saved header which is right here and we get started so once you are here and you have your already created header what you need to do is to add a menu item and to add a menu item, you basically come over to the element section and search for the menu item. But in this case, you are going to select the WordPress navigation item, not the navigation item element from Elementor. Because this element is not compatible with this plugin. It is the navigation menu element from WordPress that is that is working really well with this plugin. So you'll just drag it over to your header menu uh, column. So I'll just delete this so that you see that I'm really using the one I'm telling you to use. So once you drag it over there, then you select the menu you want to use. So I had not actually told you that you also have to create a menu, but I'm just going to take you through just a little bit to that. Um, what you need to do is just come under menus in WordPress and then you say create a new menu and once you create your new menu you give it the name um, mega mobile so you create that menu and once you create that menu then you can give it the name you want after giving it the name you want, you can add a number of other elements to that menu. So in this case, I'm not going to create a new menu. I'm just going to use an already existing menu that I have, and that is the mega demo. So the mega demo menu that I have is the one I set to primary, and it's the one that I'm going to set in my header. And this is how it is. This is the mega demo and it's the one that is appearing in my header. Maybe you have a question that what is this that I'm seeing? These gray and blue rectangular boxes appear once you have the 
clever mega menu plugin installed and activated below the menu itself after the menu settings there, there will come an option for clever mega menu settings for elementor so you just click that and once you have that enabled then those boxes will appear up here if this setting is not activated then you won't be able to create a mega menu for your menu items so we just have to hit save so now what we have already we have our header and it has our main menu that we are going to be using for our project so we save it up and we close up this so we no longer need this we just head over back here so we are done with a header and now the menu stylings just like these icons for example the icon on the about the hover effects the expand icon and the close icon on the menu items all those can now be set using the clever mega menu options you come under mega menu and then select the mega menu skins you can create your own skin and this skin will be the one that is representing how your mega menu looks like uh, maybe something I also have to mention this mega menu not only works on mobile but also works on desktop devices all this tiling is brought up by the settings you enable in the menu skins of the clever mega menu options when we hit over the edit a button for the default skin like I said you can create your own skin but I just wanted to continue I just wanted to make my customizations using the default uh, skin what you see here for example the link text which is this is the link text before hover is what is set up here in the uh, skin and there is a lot of other customizations you can do using this plugin for your menu styling for example also you can have a different styling for your uh, mobile panel uh, for the mega panel the fly out once it comes out but however i'm not going to go into that because i'm basically using the default uh, settings for this plugin the other thing you only now need to do is to save your settings and then i ask you to go and now create your mega menu items uh, once you click on any of these items for example the about it pops up in a new window and in there you can start creating your mega menu items however you are limited on the mobile settings if you are going to edit within the clever mega menu mobile settings so the option here or the trick that i used here is to set up everything using the templates i already created for example i already created the block template which is representing everything under, under the about page you have two options to create the mega menu elements for your mega menu and in this case you can just click over any of these uh, rectangles that are appearing on your menu items just like this and this is an option that the clever mega menu gives you and once it loads up your mega menu will appear here so it's a plain canvas but uh, once you have your elements you can just import them here or you just have to create them from scratch the reason why i'm opposed to creating your elements from this canvas is that you are limited on the mobile options to customize your uh, mega menu elements so that way I ask you to create everything using a template and then you can import that template direct into your mega menu let me just take you through how you can create your templates when you create your templates using the elementor templates option then you have the ability to actually make customizations on your mobile visibility of the elements you don't have these options if you are going to use the clever mega menu when you are styling your clever when you are styling your menu elements just like this so in this case i am unable to change the stylings 
the paddings and anything for any of these elements here yet here I have the capacity to change the padding you know the styling of any of the elements within here so that's why I say that uh, you you better off create a template using the elementor templates option or the blocks option and then you import that into this canvas for the clever mega menu that it brings you your created template as you created it here it will be imported directly into this canvas and make sure to select yes so that it comes over with the import settings because you want that anything that you set up under this template for example the padding uh, here on the left i made sure it is zero on the left and all the other sides i left it to be two because when i leave it on the left zero then on my mobile menu here it will it will appear really nice and sweet it fits very well because the screen size here is 360 and that means uh, when if i leave my mega menu to have also a padding on the other hand it will be out of the box that is holding the mega menu items so that they only appear really nice and sweet within here that way once you create your template and you have it saved you exit this is services and then you just come straight to your element that is going to have that that mega menu item you already created once you select that item then you select the template that you created you insert the template and say yes you accept it to come with the settings that you had already set up from that template so that's how you guys can create uh, these templates and have them imported into that a particular element that you are going to have in this case i only need one since this is the same template i had created earlier and this is how it looks like even on mobile so this is how it looks like but just like i had said i can't make any changes here to do with the padding or the styling of this same element because clever mega menu doesn't give me that option so um once i have everything set up nice and sweet i just save and then i update so once i update i just refresh over here my page and then i see how it looks like so just click over here come over to services and boom this is what it looks like here so guys that's how you can create a mobile mega menu using the clever mega menu plugin which is free of charge and all this is done using your elementor pro just to do a small recap you need to download the clever mega menu plugin to you need to to create the header and select wordpress navigation element you style up your menu using the clever mega menu skins and then you create your templates using elementor and after creating your templates using Elementor, you save them and then you import them into the Clever Mega Menu Element Canvas. Once you have that saved, then you close over here and then you save your menu. That way you will have your Mega Menu for the mobile devices effected and working nice and sweet just like any of this or any of this. Thank you so much for watching of this video brought you value and that now you can create mobile mega menus for your web projects in case of any questions feel free to leave them down in the comment box below and if you're new to this channel i hope people just like you establish a digital presence from scratch so don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss out on new content when i push it out and if you like this video uh, please smash the like button. Thank you so much and see you in my next uh, video